In this vid, I'm going to be opening up the new Dark Explorers theme decks. Now, because I'm doing my big booster opening and I'm already kind of working this opening in with, um, you know, trying to kind of do it around the schedule of the booster opening, I'm not going to be doing the uh, my traditional theme deck game where I uh, play the decks versus each other to tell you which one is better. And that's mainly because, um, actually, let me show off the back real quick for those of you that haven't seen it. Um, this is the, what is it called? Raiders theme deck. So while I do kind of enjoy the theme deck battles, um, it's a nice little change up. Um, usually I do the theme deck battles to see which of the theme decks is better. However, I can automatically tell you what I would, that's a cool Resh or, or Zorark coin. Um, really interesting. But already, I'm going to be recommending the Zorark box, um, which is called Shadows, and that's because the Zorark uh, promo, and I believe you get one other one in the box, is also an excellent deck card. So that's why I'm going to be recommending that overall. Um, the Kofagrigus, it's okay, but it's not nearly as playable. So if you're looking for this theme deck um, for playability reasons, you're going to want to go with Zorark anyways. So we've got this little... Um, information thing where it kind of goes over the the different rules for Pokemon EX. Uh, you have a checklist on the back and I really wish they would uh, have gone back to releasing the theme decks before the the dates uh, before the release date again. This that that checklist was really nice to have for pre-releases. And I'm not going to open up this uh, this whole thing um, cuz it's just kind of big, but you can kind of see there you've got Kavagrigus and Zorark. And the other one will look exactly the same. Let me move all these out of the way. So, there is the Crystal Shard Kofagrigus promo. Uh, one of the reasons why I open up these theme decks is for the promos. The code card. Cool little deck box. And now let's take a look at the deck. And see how many different cards are in here. Um... You know, maybe that I can add to my collection. So this is kind of nice. This is also an excellent way to get basic dark energy is through these um, theme decks. Yamask and lots of dark. Crocoroak, communication, excellent card. Juniper, another great one. Eevee, Cofagrigus. So this is a rare. Um, I don't think this was a hollow in the set though, so this probably isn't different, but I'll set it aside just to check. Sandile, Umbreon, Yamask, Scraggy, Sableye, excellent card. Wubat, Energy Search, Dark Claw, that's a great card to include with the theme deck. Eevee, Sharon, another great card. Sandile, Experience Share, Yamask, Chatta. Another Sableye, Krokorok, Darkness, Eviolite. Wow, they put Eviolite in a theme deck. Communication, Eevee, Energy Search, Rocky Helmet, Sandile, Wubat, Scrafty. So this is the other rare. Um, I'll have to check on this one as well to see if it's a hollow in the set. If it's not, that's something uh, different that I can add to my collection. Yamask, Eevee, another Sharon. Umbreon, Crocodile. So this one I know is a hollow in the set, so it's a non-hollow rare here. Since that's a different card, that goes straight into my collection. So actually, let me put that over there. Scraggy, another Sableye. Espeon, another non-hollow rare, but so cool that it's another rare in the box. Chatot, another Dark Claw. And Chansey. Alright, so that is the Kofagrigus theme deck. Now let's check out the uh, Shadow Zorark deck. So this is the the one, like I said, that I'm going to recommend over anything else. Um, whoops, sorry for knocking the camera there. Zorark, Weavile, and Darkrai EX, uh, from what I hear, is a great combination. I haven't tested it out myself, but I hear good things about it. So the coin, um, whoops, is another Zorark coin but it's got a black background and a black back rather than the red background and red back. We've got the Crystal Shard Zorark and um, yeah, it's just a great, great card. Um, the Code card, 
which actually has now instructions for <laughs> kind of right there on the card. That's I wonder why they did it differently. So, huh. But code card. And the theme deck, damage counters, and little insert are just are the same as the other decks, so I won't bother uh, kind of showing those extra. The deck box, really cool looking Zora coming out there. And now let's take a look at the deck. There's a, a water energy, water energy. What kind of cards are in this deck with the water energy? Oh, I did forget to show one thing. The back of the box. And if you can't remember what's, what everything that I'm showing, they have a deck list right there. So it's kind of nice to, before you actually go in and buy theme decks, is that they show you what you're exactly what you're getting. Darkness. Glacion. Nice. That's a rare. Swana. I think that's also a rare. Piplup. Uh, Palpitoad. Some energy, Eevee, full heal, Zerua, and it's the good Zerua too, the accession. Um, pretty much evolves on the first turn. Water, Vullaby, energy retrieval, Zorark. Very nice. Slowpoke, Sillin, water, energy search, darkness, Penplup, uh, water, ducklet, another Zerua, Slowbro, that's an uncommon, Sharon, excellent card, water, Timpole, Eevee, Piplup, Lillipup, uh, another Water, Vullaby, Slowpoke, Communication, Water, Energy Retrieval, Dark, another Zerua, Sillin, uh, Water, Slowbro, Piplup, Primplup, Water, Full Heal, Ducklet, Communication, Lillipup, Water, Slowpoke, Nice, Empoleon! Uh, so it's a hollow in the set, non-hollow here, so collection card, Zerua, Temple, Water, Energy Search, Sharon, and Water. So overall, uh, pretty awesome sets uh, between the two theme decks. It looks like each theme deck, you're getting four more rares, and then of course you have the promo as well. So it's a, it's a good way to start a collection, they've, and like I said, they've got some really good uh, playable cards, um, Sharon, Communication, uh, the other one had Juniper, so great stuff, and uh, like I said, I'm going to be skipping the battles this time around, and that's just to save more room for all the openings coming up. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for uh, tomorrow. I have this planning on having this up Sunday night, so assuming it is Sunday night when you're watching this, stay tuned for tomorrow's um, Surprise Monday.